Hello everyone and welcome back to Giveworks. Today we'll be making this beginner car. Let's get right into it. This will be the base plate that we're making for the car. It cons consists of three main parts. The front mounting, middle and the rear mounting. Okay, first we start by taking our block. Make sure it's at least 10 by 5 at the minimum. Mark it at uh, 0.2 and simply cut it. You'll need two of these. After you cut out two pieces, uh, measure them like this, 4.5 and 10 in length. After you have them measured and cut, just weld them together like this. This will be our base plate. Let's move on to the rear. Cut at 1.35 and this one at 3.7. Okay, after you cut out this rear piece, it's 135 uh, by 3.7. Just weld it to the rear. Now move to the front. Okay, so this is our front mounting piece. It's 1.8 by 4. And this one we will be welding like this. Make sure everything's centered. Toggle with this. Okay, now that we have completed the base plate, let's lift it up. And actually jack it up. Just uh, add a random piece to the middle and then simply weld it to the base plate. This will help you continue your build. Okay, next step is the steering. Let's grab our linear servo. If you're not using uh, this build kit specifically, make sure your hinges are welded and they're all even. Okay, now cut out all the needed parts. Uh, the diagram will be on screen right now. Okay, let's start building this thing. Add this linear servo to this chassis. Will work fine. After that, weld it up. Now add our 0.7 that's nice. Now let's add our first hinge. Take your nail gun and switch to perpendicular mode while selecting the top of the hinge. And then go over to the top of the stick, but not the middle, the side top. And if you do this correctly, your part should be inside the hinge. Make sure to weld it. Okay, that's simple enough. Now let's do the extensions. So take this tool, perpendicular again, and now do the same thing from the bottom. Make sure your stick is facing outwards from the main chassis of the car. Weld it. If it's facing the other way, right click and the mouse wheel to orientate it outwards. Now, let's add another two hinges the same way from the bottom and zero. Next up, again, switch to perpendicular and weld this here. Make it as zero for both of them and weld again. There we go. Now that we have this set up, take the spring, attach it here. Make sure to weld it. And now take the back of the spring and weld it here to the front middle of the part. And you'll get something like this. 
Now, if we unweld all the welded hinges, careful not to cut your part. Okay, so you see, after adding some keybinds, it works pretty much perfect. Now, add some hinges to the side. Okay, so now you can see that even with the wheels, everything's working perfectly, everything's straight, and yeah. So now let's move on to the rear. Okay, now for the rear, it's much more simple. Just take a small motor and attach a 2x2 two two brick to it. Weld it, and then again, use perpendicular to the, uh, attach it to the center of the wheel. Make it zero degrees, just like previously. And that should be working fine. Also, try to always double take your welds because they might get crooked or something. So now you see we have a, a motor inside of a wheel. But since one motor is usually not enough speed, I like to add a second one. When you're adding a second motor, make sure you're connecting it to the base. Because I've noticed that uh, I get issues when I connect it to the crankshaft of the, of the wheel. So yeah. Attach a heavy motor or another small motor if you want. And simply attach it to the center of this. As you see, there's perfect clearance everywhere. And simply weld that here. Now do the same for the other side. Okay, great. Now that we have some uh, rear wheels, let's drop it down by simply cutting off the little middle part. Now that all four wheels are on the ground, let's map some buttons. Hit keybinds, and here for me it's D A, and then for here W S S W. Okay, see, for these ones it's W S S W, and then for these ones. I like to first make QE and then EQ and then see. Okay, so Q is forwards, E is backwards. Nice. So W S and W. That's an easy way to make sure your both of your motors are spinning in the right direction. So let's test out our car. It's decently fast, uh, but if you notice, it's getting dark and I can barely see anything. So let's put on some light. From here on out, you can basically do any design you like, uh, like uh, for the rear or the front. It's uh, not uh, mandatory. It's all about creativity. So I'm just gonna make some basic design. Okay, so this is the basic shape I've made. It's nothing fancy, but it'll do the job. Okay, great. So I've finished adding the lights and fog lights. So as you see, I used the, the pen tool to measure where I want the lamps and just simply place them. So it's no, nothing really fancy. Also, let me add taillights real quick. Okay, great. Now let's test out our lights and uh, before I forget, let's map them actually. So set keybinds, uh, I'll toggle it with F and uh, fog lights with X and the brake lights slash with S and toggle with F also. There we go. So let's see if we want some more lights. 
can add the fog lights. So yeah, a decently fast uh, first beginner vehicle. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have fun.